Hello everyone, Jeff Bickerstaff here. Wanted to give everyone an update on the weather conditions and you probably already know what those are, but uh, just wanted to give you some visuals on what we're expecting this morning. And uh, as you know, we had a glaze of ice overnight. Really not anything any heavy, anything particularly heavy, uh, but of course it doesn't take much when it's frozen to cause a lot of problems. So with that, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what we're seeing on the ground, if you will. So we are going to switch this over. And, you know, as you can see, uh, my onions and cilantro are doing okay. <laughs> Luckily, they're uh, equipped for the cold temperature. So we're going to move over here. And I'm uh, going to show you some glazing that I have on my AC unit there. And as you can see, pretty good little glaze there. Uh, I would say about a tenth of an inch, probably something like that. So what I really want to talk about this morning, and I'm going to go show you a little bit better view of this. Uh, of course, as you know, the, the, the ground is pretty much frozen. The streets are semi-frozen, if you will. And of course, if you look at the top of the car, then you see that glaze of ice. So why did we get a glaze of ice as opposed to getting snow? Well, what happens is in this situation is the air right above us is about 60 degrees. And so that rain falls through those clouds. And of course, when it gets close to the surface, the temperature's below freezing. It's about 25 degrees right now. Wind chill's about 11. And so it's actually rain liquid, super cold rain, until it actually hits something that's frozen. So in this case, it's the car. It's not frozen until it actually hits something and it freezes on contact. So that's why we had that situation last night. Now, as far as the road conditions later today, uh, you know, it's not, eh, it might get close to freezing, but it's not really, if it did, it wouldn't get much above freezing. So does that mean our roads are going to be bad all day long? Uh, I would say no. We're not expecting any more precipitation this morning and this afternoon. But here's what might save us. There's really two things. If you remember in science class, you had a situation to where you had a solid, in this case ice, then it would melt and then it would go to a gas. So it would go from a solid to a liquid to a gas. So when it goes from a liquid to a gas, that's evaporation. And we see that all the time in the summer. Now in the winter, it can be a little different. So yes, if the temperature is 25 and then it gets to 35, you'll see some ice melting into liquid and it'll evaporate into gas. Well, we're not expected to get above freezing. So does that mean the roads are gonna be icy all day? Well, probably not. We're still gonna have problems on the bridges. So what will happen, hopefully, is that we will skip one of those phases and then we will go from a solid ice to a gas. And that is called sublimation. So you're starting to see a little bit of that already. I'm going to see if I can get a little close up here. Yeah. So if you look on the pavement there, you can see there's an icy spot there, but then there's a dry spot. So that's where that ice has sublimated from solid to vapor. So that's a good thing. Another thing that will help us today is the wind. Now I know the wind's no fun if you're out in it like me right now, but it will help dry things out too. So that will help sublimate some of this ice. So, and then of course the last thing that we have in our favor today is while we won't really see any sun, we will see some solar radiation that gets through. Think about it when you're in the summertime, when you're, uh, you can still get a sunburn when it's cloudy. Uh, the sun's still there. We still get solar radiation. And so that will help some too. And ooh, boy, that wind just hit me pretty hard there. <laughs> it is cold. So that will help supplement some of the ice too. And then of course the other factor is as the ground is getting colder, it's still pretty warm compared to what it has been. Let me switch this around here. It's pretty warm from what it has been. So that will help a little bit. You'll get some heat from underneath. And so I think probably by noon time, you'll see it get a little better. Uh, again, with the wind, sublimating some of the ice, and then uh, it just drying out a little bit. Uh, I think that will help. Now, uh, as I told you yesterday, you will see um, you will see some pretty cold weather coming into the weekend, and and you, know, you probably heard the forecast of snow. I think that's probably a pretty good bet, but we're a little far out to know exactly how much. But I think it's uh, we'll see. Don't get too excited yet about the snow. But what you can get, quote, excited about <laughs> is the really cold temperatures. Like I said yesterday, I think we'll get into 
the single digits, and we haven't done that since 1996. Uh, I don't think we're going to break our record from 1989, getting below zero, but uh, <laughs> nothing's off the table yet. So, bottom line today is be safe if you have to get out. Uh, you know, give yourself plenty of time. Uh, walking out in my street here, it is. Uh, there's definitely icy spots on the streets, uh, not just the bridges on the streets. So I, I, you know, I had to be really careful walking out here. Uh, but like I said, hopefully we'll get some help from science this afternoon and get um, get get some sublimation going. It will help our streets a little bit, so we can get out and do some stuff. Uh, tomorrow we should see some freezing drizzle in the morning, so we we might have the same situation. Although I don't think it'll be as bad. And then, really, if the forecast holds, Saturday may see some light precipitation. Sunday may be okay. But Sunday night into Monday is when we're really going to have to watch, um, you know, it get kind of dicey, if you will. So, yes, uh, Rick, uh, Kroger run. <laughs> Buddy, you may be too late. <laughs> I don't know. I think the run came last night. Uh, but I appreciate everybody watching. Like I said, just be careful out there. Uh, I know school's out for most people. And uh, so it's it's uh, it's, it's obviously a, a, a different kind of day. Uh, I'm, I'm fixing to get back to work here in a second. But uh, just want to let everybody know that science, hopefully, will be on our side today. And we will get uh, some help with this ice because there are plenty of things that need to be done. Uh, and uh, we need to be able to do that safely. Uh, yes, Jeannie, I would not be out here. <laughs> <laughs> without my toboggan there's no way uh if you uh if people that are don't have any hair like me then uh you know it it, it it really be cold heat loss is a real thing uh yeah i'm just trying to read some of the comments here real quick i know i missed a lot of them so i apologize uh Brittany, yes uh, i have done this in classrooms so um uh you know if you ever want me to do that let me know i'll be happy to come uh done that many times pre-covid and hopefully post-covid <laughs> I'll be able to do that, or I'll do it online too. You know, whatever, uh, whatever you need to do, I, I enjoy doing it. So the bottom line is, just be safe today. If you don't have to do anything, just take it easy. Uh, if you had to work, then you know, obviously do your thing. But uh, if you do have to get out, just go slow. And there's no rush for anything. And uh, I'll obviously keep watching everything. And like I said, just take it easy. Hopefully, we'll get some ice sublimation. I think today, uh, the high temperature, if we're lucky, will be about 32 degrees. I don't think we're going to get there, <laughs> but we might. Uh, but then, like I said, it's really going to get cold, colder than we've seen in a long time this weekend and then in the early next week. So, uh, you know, if, you, if you've lived here a long time, uh, like I have, it's been a long time since we've seen that. Uh, the other bad thing about that is it will be cold for quite a bit. And we're not used to that. So, as I said yesterday, the last thing I'll leave you with this morning is, and I'll, and matter of fact, I'll show you here real quick. So, if you haven't covered up your outdoor pipes, uh, I wish you had done that yesterday. But so, uh, like I said, on my hose here, I got it. You know, I got the faucet, got the hose disconnected there, and then got the uh, got the faucet covered. So, if you don't, if you haven't done that, it's not too late to do that, but. You need to hurry because <laughs> the last thing you want in this situation is a busted water pipe, uh, especially when it's frozen. Because when next week, if it does get into the single digits, you, that's, you're really not going to want to deal with that then. So, like I said, cover those pipes. Uh, make sure your pets are inside. It's 25 now, and while that's very cold, uh, it will feel a little balmy uh, compared to this time Monday. With that, as always, I'm watching the weather so you don't have to. Have a great day, everyone. If you have any questions, hit me up on social media. Take care, everybody.